pray the Lord and uh, welcome um, uh, the very reverend Eri Daddy Milton Shisa, uh, serving at St. Andrew's Cathedral as the vicar and subdean. I thank God for this time that um, um, I'm here to share God's word with, the, with the, all of us. And um, I just desire to say God is good and to say a prayer to say, God, you are great. Father in heaven, we thank you that you are great God and thank you for this opportunity that you give us to celebrate ourselves as a special people that you are now entered through your son, Jesus Christ. We pray, God, that you bless us this time with your word that we're going to share together and I pray that, Father, by the power of your Holy Spirit, you reveal yourself more and more to us in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, um, celebrating ourselves as a special people, a special people of God. And as we celebrate ourselves, I just desire to say, be still in the midst of storms. And um, God is our God and he has given us life to live. He has given us an opportunity to be his people. And the reason why uh, he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for us. Remember in John 3.16, the Bible says that for God so loved the world, that for he gave his only and only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Now, that love of God that we keep celebrating, and we know that God takes care of us, we know that God loves us, and so we celebrate that goodness, we celebrate that love of God, and so when the Bible says, be still and know that I'm God, he means it. It is God himself who speaks those words. And I just want to refer us to the book of Psalms, chapter 46, and this Psalm 46 is a special psalm in here. I mean, of course, all of, it, all of it is a special book. But this time around, what I'm coming to share about also is that God is our refuge. God is our strength. God is our ever-present help in time of trouble. And so we celebrate this because first, God loves us. Second, that he takes good care of us. And so the psalmist here says, God is our refuge, God is our strength. And he is ever our present help in times of trouble. Now, I come with this one because we are celebrating our speciality before God. And remember, this psalm was a song of celebration. You know, the people were celebrating. They, they, it was a choir singing and were celebrating themselves as a special people of God, and they celebrated. And so the reason why, why should we celebrate? Because we are, you and I, are a special people of God. And so we celebrate this, that even in the midst of trouble, even in the midst of challenges, remember, brethren, we are living at a time when everything is not looking fine, the times are opaque. When I say opaque, they're not clear. Now, for instance, at the time that we're living, the time of uh, Corona, uh, COVID-19, which has actually humbled the world. Uh, before Corona, there is no educated. There is no someone who is uh, rich. There is no someone who is a leader where everything is humbled. Can you imagine nations like China coming down, nations like U.S. coming down because of Corona? Actually, it has proved it was that all of us are the same. We are the same level. Now, meaning that where there is no education uh, proving so much, where there is no money, because we heard of people who even brought out their money and threw it away because their parents had died and the money had not helped them. Now, meaning that before we say anything, God should be our number one. That's why we celebrate his love. That's why we celebrate his care. That's why you celebrate his provisions. No man can do it, but it's only God. And so we are now in the business of appealing to the people that God is our refuge. God is our strength. God is our present help in times of need. And so we shall not waver because he remains God. Of course, there are some people 
who are even giving up. They say, if God cares, why do we have corona, I mean, uh, destroying the whole world? Why are we having uh, no hope at all in times like this? But listen to me, that God is God. I have three things to mention again here. Because he cares about us, the Bible talks about him as one who cares, but he never delays, he never hurries, but he is always on time. Those three things are God's own dealings, are on God's own doing. He never hurries, he never delays, but he's always on time. And for the examples that I would like, maybe I would give, listen, when he, when he was invited, that actually his brother, his friend, Lazarus was sick. Now Jesus said, give me my time, I will go according to my timetable. Yes, Lazarus fell sick, he was sick, he was sick, he died, but Jesus was on his timetable because he knew what he was going to do. Not that he didn't love, did love Lazarus, not that he was not able, but he did what he would do. And so friends, when he arrived, Lazarus had been buried four days. And even the sisters, Martha and Mary, said, no, the man has been buried four days now. He could be smelling. And Jesus actually did ministry there, ministry of care, ministry of counseling. And so at such a time, we call ourselves to the ministry of helping one another, comforting and, you know, helping one another because that is the ministry of God that actually Jesus Christ did counseling to the sisters. The reason why in Isaiah chapter 40, the Bible says, comfort, comfort my people. And so I come to say, be comforted, be encouraged. God still cares, even in the midst of corona. Now, as you talk about corona, as you talk about COVID-19 disease, we, we, we have not forgotten um, our daily, you know, we have a daily menu of malaria, of um, diabetes, of pressure, all those of poverty, all those are ravaging the world. But the Bible is clear. And so uh, the message of hope today is we needed to celebrate ourselves because God loves us. That like he arrived at Lazarus' home, even when he was buried, he still remains Jesus, he still remains God who can still save us from our troubles. So God is our refuge. The reason why in verse 10, the Bible says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. So the message is be still in times of trouble. You know, when you panic, things go wrong. I have seen even in class, a student may be actually having material to write, but because of panic, things may evaporate and, you know, someone will begin sweating and, and, you know, getting trouble answering the questions. Even in life, on the road, when you are driving and there is something that has happened and you panic, things go wrong. Even in the home, everywhere, panic is not for, the, for a believer. We need to come down. The reason why we are told to come down. And so Jesus, even when he came to the storm, you remember? The disciples were panicking and things. And then he said, be still. And so the message is be still and know that I'm God. Panic destroys things. Of course, I'm not talking about a hurry. Of course, I'm not talking about being quick. But I'm saying panicking is the issue. So the Bible is saying be still. Be still and know that I'm God. By the way, even when Jesus was given, gave, gave the, 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 the 5,000 people to eat food, you know, the, the, the story in the Bible, he says, I mean, the disciples, he told them, make the people sit down. And sitting down is, you know, being still. I know that God is, I mean, he's the provider. And so, friends, he provides. He still remains the caregiver. He still remains our strength. He still remains our fortress. And so, as um, I, I, I tend to answer the finish. Uh, the Bible in um, Exodus chapter 14, and in this verse 14, the Bible says, you know, it is a story about the children of Israel when they were living, when they were on their way to Canaan, and um, they were moving, going. But along the way, they met challenges, and challenges that they meet every day. There were troublesome tribes. There were, you know, there was, I mean, um, there, were, there were heat on during the day, 
call you during the night and walking long distances. But now in verse 14, there was something that actually um, they met um, when they were at the, the Red Sea. They could not cross. Now, maybe, who knows, Corona has become like our Red Sea. And then the Bible says that fear not, stand firm and see the salvation of the Lord, which is, he will work for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you and you only have to be silent. You can read on and on and on and on. Now be still. Like the children of Israel were asked to be still at the Red Sea when they were crossing. And they were asked, be still. And they know that God is God. He told them, the Egyptians that you see now, you may never see again. And so we are praying that the challenges that we meet in life, the troubles that you meet each, you meet each day, God is still is in charge. And so the reason why I have dwelt so much on this, for the Bible, again, in Psalm 37, verse 7, it says, be still before the Lord, be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Now, the Kiswahili, there's a Kiswahili saying, which says, Haraka, Haraka, Haina Baraka, that you hurry, hurry, sometimes you may lose something. Now we may hurry to deviate from God because Corona is devastating us, sicknesses are devastating us, hunger is devastating us, very many things are devastating us, but we need not to deviate, we need not to move away. Blessed are those who remain firm and strong in the midst of troubles. Blessed are those who remain strong in the midst of challenges. Because there is a song that I came that I have listened to that even when he died, he remained in the Lord. Even when he was ridiculed, he remained in the Lord. Even when he was walking, he remained in the Lord. So the challenges don't um don't don't make him less. He remains God. And remember. He never delays, he never hurries, but he's always on time. And I'm believing that God will visit us. I mean, will, will rescue us at his own time. Are you sick? Continue trusting the Lord. Are you hungry? Continue trusting the Lord. Which challenge are you having? Marriage challenge? The people who get married and the, the things get mixed up in marriage. Continue trusting the Lord. Killing one another does not help. Beating one another cannot help. I mean, arguing with one another cannot help. But continue trusting the Lord. I have believed it. Millions of people have believed it. Generations gone have believed it. This is our generation. Will Jesus find faith on earth? This is the time when we are being tested, tempted. Remember, he took 40 days in the wilderness. But he never gave up. He was hungry, but he never gave up. He was weak, but he never gave up. He left, he left us an example. Friends, may God bless you and watch over you. And I pray that the God who takes good care of his people will remain with you. And let me give you a blessing from the book of Numbers, uh, chapter. Um, there's a blessing that we were, we the priests, we are told to give the people. The book of Numbers, chapter 6, verse 22, as I close and pray. Because the Bible, here is what, is what it says. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, Thus you shall bless the people of Israel. You shall say to them. So now this is what we say. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and may the lord be gracious to you and the lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace the peace of the lord remain with you friends remain focused be still and know that god is god amen